welcome to IQ online class. Okay? So today we are looking at uh, questions under trigonometry function. Okay? So this is uh, trigonometry. So we are looking at sum and difference of angles. So these questions are gotten from uh, the beta uh, paper. So now before you look at the questions, okay, we need to understand the equations which we use under sum and difference of angles. So you are aware that under trigonometry we have uh, three basic functions. We have three basic functions. We have the sine function. We also have the cos function and uh, tan function. Okay. So now when we say sum and difference, what do we mean? Let's say we have uh, two angles. Okay. Let's say we have uh, angle A and uh, angle B. Okay. So when you are dealing with that uh, sign, okay, let's start with sign. Okay. You have sign here, and here you have the sum. Meaning, sum you are adding these two angles. So let's say we have the sine function, then here we have a plus b. Okay, so now how do you expand the sum of two angles and you are using the sine function? Okay, so this one, this one is sine a, this is sine a times cos b. Okay, when you think sine there, the sign you take, since here we have plus, we maintain the plus sign, okay? Then we come to cos A times sine B, sine B, okay? This is how you expand the sum of two angles when you are dealing with the, the sine function, okay? So when you have minus here, when you have minus here, meaning the difference now, you maintain minus, even there you maintain what? Minus, meaning the same one here, function, okay? So let's look at the cos or cosine function. We have a plus what b. Okay? How do you expand this? Never should you say cos a plus cos b. No, we don't expand it in that way. So now how do you expand this? This should be cos a times, okay? Don't miss time this. Cos a b. Okay? Now when you are dealing with cosine function, the sign changes here. Since here we have plus, it will be minus. Then we come to sine a times sine sine b. Okay? So when you have minus here, this one will be maintained, but the sign here will change. So when you have minus, you have plus here. When you have plus here, you have minus here. But this parameter will multiply them when they add. Okay, so then that this is for sine function and the cosine. Let's look at the last basic ratio, which is a tan. So let's say we have tan a plus b. Okay, sum of angles we are dealing with tangent. So this takes us to tan a plus tan b. Everything divided by 1. Since here we have plus, so here it will be minus tan a times tan b. Okay? So when you have minus here, you have minus there, then here you have plus. Okay? So now, having equipped with these equations, we can now answer this question. Okay? If you don't know those equations, it will be difficult for you to answer uh, those are uh, uh, this type of questions here. So now, in this question, we are given that sine alpha, this is an angle, okay? Sine alpha is square root of 2 over 2, and cos beta is square root of 3 over 2. Now, given that both, this is a very important condition there, given that both are acute angles, so it means both alpha and beta are lying in the first quadrant, okay? Both are lying in the first what, quadrant. Or in short, these are angles between 0 and what, 90. So now, the main question here is uh, to find now. Find sine alpha minus what? Beta. Okay? So to find this 
expression there. We need to know those what equations. Okay, so now when you check, the first person is in uh, the sign form, but you are dealing with what the, the difference. Okay, so it is in the sign what the form. So in short, let's go down now to the questions. Let's go down to the questions. Okay, so now the question one, question one, Roman number one. Okay, so they want us to find the sign the alpha okay sign alpha minus the beta okay so now we can get our data so from the question we are given one we are given sign alpha which is the square root of two over over two okay we are also given cos beta which is the square root of three over two okay so now to answer this question there we need to expand it Okay, so now we will expand this using the, 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 the equations under some and difference of angles. So now since you are doing with sign, how do we expand this? Okay, how do we expand this? Okay, so this takes us to sine alpha times cos beta. I said when you are dealing with uh, the sign ratio, the sign there maintains, maintains the sign. So since you are minus you put minus there, then you come into cos alpha times sine one the beta. Now we need to be careful. Okay? We need to be careful. To answer this question, what we only have here is uh, sine alpha n cos beta. Okay? Do we have cos alpha and sine beta? No, we don't have. So we need to answer this question again. We need to know the values of cos alpha and cos what? Cos beta. Okay? So there are two ways. There are two ways we can use to find it cos uh, alpha. Okay? The first one. The first one is uh, the use of uh, triangles. Okay? The use of what? Triangles. We can come up with a triangle. So for example, here, since sine alpha, sine alpha is a square root of 2 over 2, okay? So, from Sokatoa point of view, we know that a sine, in this case, sine alpha is a opposite over a hypotenuse, okay? Opposite over hypotenuse. So, it means that the top number here, the numerator, this one here, is our opposite, okay? Then the bottom here is our hypotenuse, okay? What does it mean now if we were to draw a triangle, okay? If we draw a triangle, we have something like this. This triangle is for the alpha as angle. So let's say we have alpha here as an angle, okay? So the opposite in this case is this side, okay? This is, uh, in this case, we can put now square root of 2, okay? Then hypotenuse is the longest side, which is what? 2. So again, we need to find the, this other side to know cos to know cos alpha, okay? So how do we find the other side? We use Pythagoras theorem. So we know that uh, uh, a squared plus b squared is equal to, to c squared. Okay, so a squared here we can get the square root of two, square root of two squared, okay, plus maybe b is what we are looking for. In this case, b squared is equal to then uh, c squared is the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. So we'll square what? two, okay. So square root of two squared is more like a two and a, a square root because uh, it just remains with what two plus this b squared is equal to uh, 4, okay? So, b squared is equal to uh, 4 minus 2, okay? So, b squared is equal to 2. So, square root here, even there was the square root, this one, that one, goes. so in short, the b there is uh, square root of what? 2. What do we mean now? It means our adjacent side here is uh, square root of 2. Now that we have all the three sides, okay, we can now find the what the 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 the, the, the cos, okay, 
So now I'm here, our main interest is to find the cause out there. Okay? How do we find the cause out? From Sokatoa, we know that the cosine is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, cos cos alpha would be equal to what is our adjacent is the root of two. So we say cos square root of two over the hypotenuse is what is two. So meaning we have this one. Since they have given us this condition here, it is an acute angle, so it will still be what is positive like that. So here we know cos alpha as a square root of two over what is over two. We keep that answer. Okay, so meaning we know this one again. We need to form another triangle for angle beta. Okay, another triangle for angle what? Beta. Angle beta here is given uh, in, in cosine form. So let's combine another triangle. Let's combine another triangle. So again, here we have cos beta as a square root of 3 over what? 2. Okay? So, from Sokatoa, we know that cos is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. What does it mean? It means this number on top here is our adjacent side. Then, this bottom number here is our hypotenuse side. So, again, we formulate another triangle for beta, angle beta. So, let's formulate another triangle. So let's say this is uh, angle beta, okay? So the opposite we don't know for now. Adjacent is uh, square root of uh, three, okay? Then hypotenuse is what? Uh, two there. Then find that side there, which is our opposite. When we know this side, it will help us to know the sine beta. So again, we will use it by calculus or theorem, okay? So this is a uh, a square. In this case, I can just go there. Uh, you square this one plus the square this one will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse side. Okay, so in short, here x uh, square plus it, square root of 3 uh, square will be equal to 2 square. Okay, so this is x square plus. Okay, square root of 3 squared is just same as what? Okay? 3, this will be equal to what? 4. Okay, so x uh, square. Uh, will be equal to 4 minus 3. So x squared will be equal to 1. So when you square root, even here square that one, that one. So it means x is equal to 1. So meaning this side here, okay, this side here is what? 1. Our opposite is 1. So now here, our main interest is to find sine beta. So sine beta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So sine beta will be equal to what is our opposite? Our opposite is the one which we are found here. So one over our hypotenuse is two here. Okay. So again here we have found our sine what is beta, which is one over one over two. We won't put any sign there because it, both alpha and beta are actually to the angles. So this is the first method which you can use. So now, there is this shortest method which you can use to avoid using what? Eh? Triangles. I'll just show you on one. Let me do maybe this same one here. What can you do there? To avoid using triangles, eh? but you want to find the uh, sign beta here. So now, look at this. So let's say this is method one. This one, you can use this method if you don't want to involve triangles in the calculation of the other angles, okay? So, we have cos, we have cos beta, which is given as the square root of 3 over what? Over 2. Then here, we want sine beta. We don't know that one. Now, we know from uh, trigonometric identities that it, when you are doing the same angle, okay, you square these ratios, okay? The sum of these square ratios is equal to 1. What does it mean? In short, when you have uh, cos squared beta, 
plus sine squared beta. This one gives us what here? One. We know this identity. Okay? So now, since we are given cos beta, here it is squared. In short, what are we trying to say? This is a square root of 3 over 2 uh, squared plus sine squared beta will be equal to 1. Okay? What we want is sine beta. Okay? So when we say square root of 3 over 2 squared, okay? So this squared is on both the root of 3 as well as what? 2. So here, this and that will go. So remain with what? 3 over 2 squared. That is what? 4. Plus sine uh, squared beta. This will be equal to what? 1. Okay? We can take this the other side. We remain with uh, the sine beta squared, which we want in this case. So sine uh, squared beta will be equal to 1 minus uh, 3 over, over 4. Okay, let's try now to take that one. 1 minus 3 over 4. So 1 minus 3 over 4 is giving me 1 over. So giving me a sine, sine squared beta is equal to 1 over 4. When you calculate that one there. Now here, what we want is sine beta, not sine squared beta. So you can introduce the square root both sides. So when you say oh, square root here, it is there what we want here. So the square root of 1 is 1 over square root of uh, 4 is 2. So you find that without using a triangle, okay, you get the same answer as what we got at first using a triangle. So this is the other method which you can use. Okay? I recommend you to use this one because uh, you, 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 you won't waste much time. Okay? So now, let's go directly to the questions. We now have what we need there. Okay? So you have the matter of what? Okay? Substituting where I'm for it, expanded this one. So here, uh, this sign, alpha minus beta will be equal to, what is sign alpha? Just substitute. Sign alpha is given the question as a square root of uh, 2 over 2 times, okay, because beta is a uh, square root of uh, 3 over 2, okay, minus, okay, we can put brackets there, okay, then cos alpha is what we are found as a uh, square root of 2 over 2, okay, and beta is uh, 1 over 1 over 2, okay, so now let's just multiply, so, now, when you are multiplying under series, under series, when you have a square root of a times a square root of b, these are two different uh, numbers. I'm just giving you an example. So you multiply this under the root. So this will be equal to square root of a b. So use that uh, rule here. So here, this is now square root of 2 times uh, 3, that is 6, over 2 times 2, that is 4, okay, minus. Okay, here, a square root of 2 times 1 is a square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is a 4. Okay, so now when you have the same denominator here, let's write one. So in short, sine alpha, sine alpha minus beta will be equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. So that is the answer there. You can leave it there. Then, Let's go to the next one, real quick. Let's go to the next one. The next one is uh, question two. So question two wants us to find cos alpha plus what? Beta. Again, to find that expression, uh, if you don't know those equations, it will be hard for you. So what do we say here? This one is uh, expanded in this way. So cos alpha times, okay, cos alpha times cos beta, okay, when you have plus it changes to minus, okay, sine uh, alpha times sine, sine beta, we will find all of this, so it's just a matter of substituting. So cos alpha is given, uh, cos alpha, okay, is what we have here, uh, square root of 2 over 2 times cos beta is uh, uh, square root of uh, 
3 over 2 minus sine alpha. Okay, sine alpha is the square root of 2 over 2 times. Okay, then sine beta. Okay, sine alpha is this one, sine beta is the 1 over 1 over 2. Okay, so you do the same here. This time that you get the square root of 6 over 4. Okay, minus there you get the square root of 2 over 1, 6 over 4. So you find that this is giving us the same one. And there will be square root of 6 minus what? Square root of 2 over 4. So beta, this is the cos. This is cos alpha plus what? Beta. So you find that this cos alpha plus beta and that of sine alpha minus beta is almost giving us the same one, see? the same answer there. Okay, so basically this is how we use these uh, equations.